Okay, so uh, heading down into this uh, mine section here, this deep slope mine, and we're pretty good ways in, and we're going to be going to uh, a series of mining carts that Mr. Box had actually located uh, some time ago, and so uh, we've got to go down this slope, and uh, we're going to be... Uh, moving off into what they call one of the work headers and uh, to uh, locate these carts. But we're, we're a good 16, 1700 feet in distance inside the mine and about 500 feet below the surface. So it just keeps going. Uh, at, uh, when this was open, it, it went to about uh, 22, 2300 feet surface depth. So, uh, and like four or five miles in distance. So it is a huge mine. So, all right, we'll just keep proceeding on down. All right, so we have gotten up into this header right here off the slope, which is below. Looking across is uh, one of the other work headers heading back. So you can see all this has been underwater for years. So we're going to be making our way off this way, going down through some, uh, uh, actually it was a section of the old man and materials way where they would bring the horses and the mules down. So the water level you can see rose to about right there with the yellow cake. Water never got there. So, all right, we're going to make our, make our way on over here. Okay, you got uh, sections of rails right here for the mine carts. That's where the light is going up and down. That's where the mine carts were. That right there is a cave in probably from a retreating pillar method. They robbed the pillars and the ceiling would collapse because they were never coming back. But uh, this is going down to the next level and beyond so all this man has been underwater it's incredible man i mean it is drop man that's that's 200 feet plus easy maybe yeah. more all right get on down there okay so we've dropped on down one level gonna walk over here real quick we're still gonna get through that but uh check this out mr box asked me to check this out so it's been uh it's receded for quite some time because all this is dry it's caked so this has been this is i couldn't tell you how long but it's receded for been receded the water for quite some time so got the remains of the uh minecart tracks and they had us switch system here they had dual rails and up ahead was where they had the self-acting tipple for the mine carts so there's a uh, timber support for the roof so huh. a lot of times you just don't see the rails left intact but it's just no telling how long the section's been underwater. Decades, maybe. Okay, that is looking across, the slope is below, that is looking across to the other work headers on the other side. So the self-acting tip would be, would have been right here. In fact, you can actually see some of the wood right there. We're going to head back up and rejoin with Mr. Box, but uh, outstanding. 
Okay, we've dropped down into another level and just ahead are just a huge pile of discarded uh, rails for the mine carts. Remains of, I can't even believe that's standing, remains of wooden timber support. Look what I just found. It's like a shot glass or something. Oh, that is cool, man. Who knows how old, well, this goes back to the early 1900s them working this, so it's probably that old. And just beyond that breakthrough, I think, would be uh, water. But this right here is a track of uh, one of the band of materials way where they bring the mules and the horses down. So we'll step down here. That's a lot of rails, man. But there's the mine carts just up ahead. Now that, that right there is the find of the decade by Mr. Boggs. Oh, look at that. Another, that's several of them stacked on top of one another. Well, there's a good one right there. Oh, it looks like a horseshoe. Could be. Wow, that's in good shape. Yeah. Oh, I, I get it. But uh, right there, there's uh, photographs of these mine carts in operation. Going back to the early 1900s, Mr. Box found this. Wow, you just don't see this every day. And they're still sitting on the tracks right there. Wow. Yeah, the, the mule, the, they would pull them. The self-acting tip would be just ahead of that uh, first one. And a miner would disconnect, the, unhook the couplings. And he would push each loaded car into that self-acting tipple, and it would the, the flap would open in the front, and it would just deposit the ore into the giant twelve-ton skip car below on the slope. So uh, three of these, you've got the horseshoe. So. Yeah, you can see where these are the other tracks right here. They had uh, because once they put them on the self-acting tipple, the miner would switch the track and push the empty back on this track. But uh, look at that, they're, they're locked in place right here. There's the brake right there on it, still in place. Yeah, I didn't think that that thing was gonna be going anywhere. <laughs> okay, if you go to the front of this one, you can see the, uh, the chute where it opens up. Yeah, I see that. Well, this is history right here, man. Wow, and you can see that's it, that's as far as you can go. Look at all that sludge and water. Just enough for Mr. Box to locate this. Come, come up here in the front. You stand right where I am. All right. Yeah, you can see right there where the flap is exposed. They would just uh, push it into the self acting tipple uh, and then just the miner. It was real easy, it was all a weight system counterbalance system and he would just push it right over and it went into a little chute and just or went right down into uh right down into the uh 12 ton skip car on the uh, slope that is uh that's epic right there man wow That is some nasty water. Yeah. I'll take my lats out and see where we can place them where it looks best. All right. All right, we're going to explore around here a little bit. Where does it rank, man? It's, uh, it's up there. It's it's within the top ten. That's for sure. You just don't see this. No. 
That one doesn't have a spike on right here. The second one and the first one does. Another uh, view, elevated view, looking down. And uh, here's some more mule shoes right here. Yeah, pristine condition, too. Just thrown up here on top of the pile. All this discarded rail. They probably pulled all this rail before those, before they did the retreating pillar. That's why they're all stacked up here. They just wanted to save them in case they needed to use them again. And obviously, they never used them again. They never used these mine cards again either. Probably trying to figure how do we get them out of here. <laughs> so, all right, we're going to be looking around here a little bit more. That is just, uh, that's incredible. This, uh, this work header right here, it goes back for a couple of thousand feet, and it would have, they did a retreating pillar method when they knew they were never coming back here. They would rob the pillars of the, you know, the valuable ore, and they were so scientific at it that when the ceiling dropped, it would drop in an exact location they wanted it to, but... This, this particular header would go back roughly 2,000 feet. So mules or horses pulled these out and back and forth, man. So, so they were working this particular uh, section of the mine in the early 1900s between 1901 to 1910. So... And that's as far as you can go, man. That's the water line. And uh, that's, uh, that's interesting right there. You can actually see uh, the remains of the wood for the steps right there. That is pretty cool. That's pretty clear over here, the water. But you can actually see the steps. The miners use this, like I said, taking the... Uh, Mules and horses up and down the slope. That is pretty neat. That's looking back out there. Okay, so that's looking back up uh, towards these work headers. This is the main slope. This is another section looking over this way. That's about a good uh, 15, 20 feet up. That right there is the remains of a uh, compressor line for uh, air drill right there been underwater all this time uh, right there uh, it's for light right there so venture down here just a few feet it's pretty slippery there is a cable hoist roller shoved off to the side when they removed all the rails when they closed this mine so just venture down here for a few feet that's some uh, thick compressor line hose right there man
I'm not going to go any further because it is so slippery. But uh, look at all that. All of this has been underwater this whole time. Decades, man. 60 plus years. You can just see the lines right there. That's where the water has risen and fallen. and been stationary. There's lines right there. So, well, all right. We'll start making, uh, making a way back up the uh, slope here.